Mark Sterling is responsible for quality control at Michigan Ag Commodities in Breckenridge. He weighs in trucks at the Ransom Scale House, grades product for quality, and fills out export documents, among other things. But before he does any of that, at 5 a.m. every day, he begins preparing his weather forecast geared toward the ag community, released through MAC's website and on the Michigan Farm News website as well. Early on, he was using a Digistar weather station in Breckenridge, saving data to its onboard memory. In the mid-90s, he upgraded to a Davis weather station that allowed him to share information locally on the Internet. And in 2008, he expanded their weather stations to eight MAC locations around the state, with three in Canada. Some of the information that uh, we uh, upload to our sites for our farmers include the basics, temperature, humidity, dew point, barometer, wind speed, and direction, and such. Most of the uh, information that the farmers really like is the uh, growing degree day reports. And that is something also that our company uh, values quite a bit too. Uh, we want to know the stage, uh, the developmental stage of the crops, how they compare to the previous year and to the historic uh, comparisons. That gives us an idea perhaps of what we may have to do in preparing for the upcoming crop. And uh, so that's very important to them. Some of the uh, farmers request wind uh, speed and direction uh, information on certain days where maybe they didn't have records when they were spraying and they need those records. Um, and of course, they're always watching for days that maybe we had frost or heavy precipitation events. Sometimes a farmer will request that information. Meteorology is truly Mark's passion. He learned it on his own by reading books, doing internet searches, and talking with those in the business. And he says both his father and older brother were very influential in his decision to learn about weather. I began to, uh, I think, take a very strong interest in weather, if you can believe it, when I was probably about four or five years old. My dad was a staff sergeant in the Air Force, and he had friends in the control tower. He would bring home uh, weather uh, data off a teletype machine. One of the uh, first weather stations I got that really got me interest, in, uh, interest going in weather was a station that my brother Mike uh, purchased for me when I was about 14 or 15. It was just prior to the uh, great ice storm of 1976, had a mercury barometer, had outdoor uh, wind equipment, and I was just absolutely thrilled to get that. And that, I think that really snowballed my interest. Um, I know people at our company refer to me as our company uh, weatherman. Some people call me a weather geek or weather nut. Uh, certainly I have a strong passion for weather. Uh, I'm not an official meteorologist, so you can call me what you may. You can get Mark's weathercasts with information updated every 2.5 seconds online at michag.com slash weather and michiganfarmnews.com by clicking on the Markets and Weather tab. And you can find his weather report within the Michigan Farm News daily e-newsletter.